Hey everybody, my name's Adam. I have faxes, inflammatories, hemorrhoids. Well, let's get into this. Well, ugh, this is some really, really fucked up shit that pisses me off. Cryptocomics got a copyright strike by this Jesse Miller guy. He's a war campaign guy. He clipped this live... <coughs> yeah, he used a clip from a live stream, then he used a clip of Roe doxing him, which is actual video evidence of it. Because one of them is like, talked to the guy, interacted with him on a couple of live streams, Brad Ashford, aka Pencil for Life, super nice guy. He gets dogpiled by war campaign, he showed that. And you're like, John Luke Mesner, the guy that uh, turned Indicron, had a hand in turning Indicron to Comic Skate Exclusive, which I think they wanted a blood, urine, stool, and semen sample with a gay little fucking contract. That you're Comic Skate and you'll be listed. And the whole thing about, you know, like, all these artists being massively successful and stuff, it's not on their own merit or anything like that. It's a celebrity pee-pee touches through Ethan Van Skyver. And I don't play that shit. Because it sounds pretty fucking gay to me. No. No. Like, and the whole thing about it is, he was false copyright stricken, basically, because he pissed off a dipshit in war campaign. And this is a thing: war campaign is make is growing me towards the fucking hatred of the whole move, You're like. Of the whole fucking group and shit. And. Uh, Ethan Van Skyver. I loathe fucking Ethan. And I loathe anyone that allies with him. I, I have personally boycotted fucking his little circle jerk of fucking friends, babe. Two. Because I don't want to be part of that little fucking group. I'd rather hang out with people that think for themselves, that can actually have civil discourse, not not a bunch of dipshits that blindly fucking hail Caesar. See? <laughs> and like all these pros that do these pee-pee touches with Ethan Van Skyver. No. Uh-uh. I'll cordially talk to somebody and you know, like, say if I'm on a, get invited on a live stream and we have our project, my best friend and I, we have our project going, I'll promote the shit to it, to the audience. And another thing is problem with comic books. I mean, no, comics gate basically is that they give platforms to people that they shouldn't. And another thing is that platforming people that shouldn't have a platform creating a monster is wrong. And stuff. Also, they don't talk, they don't talk about the good books. There are outshined by you know, these idiots that are Giving money, throwing money to you know, like Marvel and DC to read pure dog shit. Nobody talks about the Witcher shit. I will. Hell, a few people are talking about alternative. I jumped on that bandwagon because it's actually good. There's actually good stuff at Alterna. It brings a smile to my face and I feel joy about it. See? That 
<clears throat> that's how Comicsgate has been rotted to the core. And shit like that. They let the bad outshine the good. Where I thought it was for good story, good artwork. You know, like, and oh man. See? And this mob mentality of, and stuff isn't going to work. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys around. Take care, take it easy. Have a good one. I'm signing off. And just remember, do one thing. Please, just think for yourself. Because this up here is all you fucking have. Again, until next time, I'm, I'm signing off. Take care, take easy, and have a good day.